Boop. We recording. Fuck. All right. Afternoon, everyone. Um, I know I haven't been talking to you guys as of late. It's been about a month or so. I've been. I was sick. I had a break. I was kind of a lazy guy. I have tennis. I play tennis. Um, yeah. Not the point of the video. The point of the video is. Um, more on me being prom king, and more on why I think I'm a good candidate. So, alright, you got your jocks, you got your goths, and you got your nerds, right? And then where do I fit in? I don't really fit in anywhere. And now you're going to vote for your jock to win, probably, because that's how everything normally works. So you guys are probably going to vote for freaking Raider Reprop, man, because, you know, he's all... Big, tough, and he's good at everything. But you see, the thing is, is there's these people in life that are better than you. Now, you're probably thinking, ow, that hurts. But it's true. We all know, we all, we all en are envious of them, but there's always people that are going to be better than us. So I'm saying, why, when we have a decision to give them more, why would we give them more? When they're already going to get a whole bunch more than us in life. Why don't we give it to the little guys in life, huh? Like me. Now, you're probably thinking, Well, yeah, but what about me? I'm a little guy, too. <laughs> um, I mean, I mean, yeah, sure. But I didn't think far enough through. And my friend uh, came up to me, and I hope they're my friend. I don't know who my friends are. But he came up to me and was like, Hey, man, I'm not going to vote for you. I'm going to vote for a rated report because, you know, you're too egolicious. Well, guys, I'll tell you a little story. I know all I do in my story, all I do on this channel is say, hey guys, listen to here, listen to me talk about my life, and nothing exciting ever happens except for those two videos where I ate things. And the one video where I went like this to a pig, and the video now where I did this to a racket. Um, anyways. I'm I'm loud, yeah. We all we all can. It's abundantly clear I'm loud. Um, I don't want to be loud, but when I am, I really enjoy it because I get attention. I have fun, and I'm happy at the time. I'm generally I'm, I like to do things like I don't want to just be docile because I'll get to thinking and I'll be like, fuck my life. I don't really like it. Like, what is life? We're all controlled by our... No one... We don't have our own lives. I mean, sure we do. We can go out on weekends, party. But other than that, we go to school. We do what our parents tell us to do. We do what the school tells us to do. And if not, we're a bad program. And then we just get reprogrammed by the freaking government and the law system. And then... I just try to stray from that. And... I don't feel that my being loud adversely affects people to as great of an extent as is made out to be. Like, me being loud does not kill people. I mean, I hope not. And, I don't know. I just, I feel that a real, a real person is important. You don't want to be... I, feel, I see everyone out there doing the same stuff. I mean, sure you have you have the the class system as I as I love it. You can you can walk through the halls and you see the top dogs, but mostly you'll see the low dogs because it's like the one percenters. That's our class. We have a class system and we have a social economic system. They're the same thing. You got the jocks and then and the pretty ladies uh, all top here. Then you got your your lower tier, you got them pretty, okay, smart, s sort of sporty people. Then you got your, your mid-tier here, you got your people who show up sometimes, they're not really talkative or a little bit talkative and stuff. You got your below that tier, you got your meatball level. You know, you gotta love all your meatballs. Um, they're really core in the educational de department. Without the meatballs, there wouldn't be any order anywhere. Um, and then you got your nerds. Your nerds are typically people who stick close together. They can be bundled up with some meatballs or any one of the top groups above them. 
But generally, no one really understands them. They're they're very misunderstood. And if you come across one, you're generally like, what the fuck, dude? No, you generally don't. They're they're not really social butterflies, right? The higher on the class you are, the more of a social butterfly you are. And I say, it's like money. You have to have money to make money. And the more money you have, the easier you are to make it. It's kind of like they can't get social experience if all they talk to is other socially inept people. It's like we we see these things, we can talk about these things, but talking about them isn't helping. So I'd like to have your vote for me for prom king, and that would solidify some change. And if not. Vote for Mr. Ray to reprot, because I think he's a good guy in the end of the day. And honestly, I think all of you are too. See ya! I, I wanted that to go straight up there, like, uh, like this, and go later. Goodbye. Have a fucking nice day.